What's up, guys? NBA talk. I'm taking a little break from the football thing. There will be one more video for football later on. That will be the Broncos versus the Chiefs game, which is very important. So that will be for the last video. So here's a, a game for basketball for us. Uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers defeating the Philadelphia 76ers 112 to 108. Um, the the Cavaliers came off with a slow start because the Philadelphia was cooking them a bit in the first couple of minutes of the first quarter. Uh, but the Philadelphia 76ers couldn't uh, really capitalize on it. Like, just put their stomp on the Cavaliers and just push them down to the ground. They could not do that. The Cavaliers slowly came back. And then the second quarter, they tied up. No, actually, no. No, the Cavaliers will only take the lead from the Philadelphia 76ers until the fourth quarter, actually. Um, like, around the seven-minute mark. Um, thanks to Kyrie Irving, because he was cooking everybody. Dropping those uh, points down, driving in, shots all over the place. Um, it was crazy. I think he dropped, like, around 19 points or 18 it was crazy. Um, great game from the Cavaliers persevering. Um, LeBron James got off. Kyrie Irving really got off tonight. Um, Kevin Love also got off tonight too. So let's look at the stats, people. Um, Kyrie Irving, who is probably the MVP of the night, 39 points. Uh, he shot 14 out of 27, 5 out of 11 from the three-point range, and 6 for 6 from the free throw line he picked up four rebounds and two assists pretty much a awesome night from him uh season high uh then you have lebron james with a triple double with 26 points 13 rebounds no 13 assists 10 rebounds and a steal from him kevin love who is showing up 25 points uh he was six for 13 four out of eight for the three-point range 25 points, like I said, 11 rebounds. This guy is showing up. He, he he might have found his spot. He might have found his spot. He got banged up with his eye cut up um, above his eye. But he came through and worked. Playing for 28 minutes. But he played work for this team. Um, Tristan Thompson, 12 points, 12 rebounds, and 2 block shots. He was good. He was getting feed the ball. And J.F. Smith, once again, struggling. Big time. Back-to-back -back games where he's struggling. 0 out of 11 shooting. A 0 out of 11 shooting overall. 0 out of 7 from the three-point range. Not a single damn point. Five rebounds and assists from him. The only thing that he's doing useful is defense. Currently, right now. He, he needs to get back on his... Sh yeah, something. Get on his shit. Something like that. Man. And nothing really coming off the bench. Uh, you got that boy um, James Jones coming off the bench. Uh, doing some work. But that was pretty much it. Uh, the team shot 41% from the field. 30% from the three-point range. 85% um, from the free throw line, which is pretty good. Uh, 46 rebounds 19 assists and only nine turnovers from them so that's the cavaliers a pretty solid game um they had to climb back up until the fourth quarter but it is what it is and now we have the 76ers who are just losing and losing and losing but the difference is from all the years before this team is competing they're playing to win and of course is not working well because they just don't have the talent. Um, Joel Embiid is just the guy, the process, as they call him. Because now that's the theme about the 76ers that is the process. You have to wait. Don't worry. It's coming. It's coming for us. And the 76ers fans are buying into it. And I say I will buy into it too. It's going to take a while, but they just need the pieces around them. And they had the chance to do so, like, if Ben Simmons wasn't hurt, if they had not get rid of um, Michael Carter-Williams when he was in the system, 
I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know what happened to uh, what's his name, Noel. Uh, is it his name, Noel? I I know uh, Okafor is here, but uh, the guy o uh, Noel. I don't know what happened to him. Hey. Okay. So back to the stats. Uh, Joel Embiid, 22 points. Uh, he shot eight out of 18 shooting, three for four for the three point range. So he got range. He could do post moves. He could do all of that. Gears in the waiting, and he's delivering for sure. He is right now the top in the rookie of the year awards. Um, hopefully he wins that. I want him to win. Uh, nine rebounds, four assists, three block shots. He was doing some damage. Uh, Rodriguez. Who's filling in for the point guard spot? 12 points, 7 assists, 2 steals from him. Gerald Henderson with 13 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. And Elizova, uh, the new addition, 13 points and 6 rebounds. And you got this guy, Covington, 8 points, 6 rebounds. He shot 3 out of 9 shooting. And then we look towards the bench. We got a couple of guys. You got Sark, the point on uh, the power forward, ten points from him. Um, Okafor with fourteen uh, points. He played for twenty three minutes, I believe. He also picked up nine rebounds and an assist. Pretty much it. Uh, I wish he was in the starting lineup. Um, and one more guy, Starkustis. I think that's his name. Starkustasis or Starkus, uh, whoever this guy is, yeah, 11 points. The team shot 46% from the field, 44% for the three point range, uh, picked up 50 rebounds, 29 assists. Uh, I would say the turnovers paid a role, 16 turnovers, not looking good, and also the fouling, 24 fouls for them. So that's pretty much it. Cavaliers go up. They go 13-2. and two. Uh, They're 4-1 on the road. Just got to keep at it. Keep getting better. I hope J.R. Smith becomes better. Because that will make this team very, very elite. And it's going to look like no one in the East can beat them. The Toronto Raptors have the potential to beat them. Because they beat them in the playoffs in a game or two. Even though they lost the series. Um, what else? What else team? The Indiana Pacers. I will not, I'm not giving up on them yet. Even though they're struggling, I will not give up on the Indiana Pacers. I think they have the best shot of taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Eastern Conference Finals. And that's it. Philadelphia in the bottom of the heap, but they're playing hard. So, peace out.